Arizona Review Bros, we are back with another review. After that shitty experience with the uh, unicorns, we are on to our favorite brewery, Treehouse. And this is the green. What is it, Connor? This one is a 7.5% boom India Pale Ale. Okay, boom. Um, tossing some notes of uh, tangerine, pineapple, intense hop flavor. Uh, let's go for it. Let's do it. Can't wait. Uh, obviously, our Treehouse scores were, were like through the roof. Um, I think we were both. I almost thought you said the 450 scores. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, the our tree previous house. our previous treehouse reviews. I think you were low nines to mid nines. I was mid nines all day. Pretty sure. Um, wow. Yeah, I really did one nice. low low nine and then one nine five. It looks really good. Yeah. Excited for this one. I I want to say this is similar to the Julius, oh, right? Love it. This, smells this so is good. good, dude. I smell like pine. Really? Yeah. You get pine? Yeah, some pine hops. I get like a light pine for sure. Almost. A, this is very extreme, but like you're drinking like a Ranger IPA or something like wow, that. Wow, that is extreme. Uh, where does this show like what's in it, dude? Like right in the middle. Right in the middle. Pineapple, orange sorbet, tangerine. Huh. Okay. I don't know if I get all that, but. Yeah, I'm not sure about the orange sorbet. Sherbert? Yeah, I don't get that. All right, cheers. Let's do, let's go. Let's enjoy this. Oh my god, it's so smooth. Yeah. So smooth. Unbelievable. Like I kind of expect a little bite there, and it just eases in. Like it's so nice. Fire. Really well made beer, huh? I'm so glad to be following up the slushies with this. <laughs> Well, this is definitely our style. All right, All right we're back. I am so hyped about With this. The green. It's so good. Um, look at the lace, nice thick lace going on. It's just so smooth. I get a little, I just say it's just like a citrusy, smooth fucking bomb of an IPA, dude. I just love this shit. What do you I, think? I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's world class. World class for sure. Top 50 on, I think it's beer number 50 on Beer Advocate, top 250. So it's top 50 beer in the world. All right, I think it's their second highest rated beer on Untapped. That could be, yeah. Treehouse. I know Treehouse has, I want to say they have like 25 in the top like 60 on Beer Advocate. Mm -hmm. So obviously they're up and down, but this one's probably right in the middle there. Um, I just love it, Connor. Do you want to give it a quick score? Uh, yeah, I'll shoot out a good score. Okay. Um, I'll give this one a 9.4. Wow, okay, nice. I'm gonna go, I wish we had the Julius and the green and the cachet back to back to back. Connor was saying earlier that he remembers liking the cachet a little more, but it was because it was right after the Julius, you can kind of compare them. Um, I wish we could do that today. Like yeah, you were we, saying. we drank those a couple weeks ago. We drank ago. those, yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna shoot out a 9.5. I'm sure it's right there with the Julius, which is what I gave already a 9.5. That's the reason behind the I score. I think you've given all all of them a nine five. I yeah, but, but yeah, I mean I just love them. But I don't know. I don't really know if maybe I think I agreed with you. I think I wish I would have done a nine six on the cachet. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Because I think that one. I, I upped it, and you're mm -hmm. like, oh, I should up to mine too. Yeah. That one stands out a little more somehow. I don't know exactly how. But it's saying it, it might be a little stronger. I think it was like the same flavor, but they put another percent alcohol in there. So you're yeah, like, ah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, so I would probably give the Julius and the Green a nine five, and then the Cachet if I could go back, which you can't, a nine six. But that's where I'm at. So okay. Arizona Review Bros, another review. Go follow on IG, subscribe to YouTube, and like and comment. All right, peace. Cheers. Cheers.